Fury. TV hosts read Harry and Meghan the riot act over plot to usurp Queen at last minute by a new move. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Christmas card photo has inevitably fallen under scrutiny with Kate Garraway questioning if it was released to usurp the Queen. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shared the first glimpse of their daughter Lilibet Diana and the first real look at son Archie's face on their new Christmas card, which was released on Thursday. Hours later, Buckingham Palace published an image of the Queen from her annual speech ahead of its broadcast on Christmas Day. However, some have accused Meghan and Harry of trying to overshadow the Queen's moment. During Friday's Good Morning Britain, presenter Richard Bacon said, they released their card half an hour before Buckingham Palace and the Queen did. Meghan and Harry's card was actually released several hours before Buckingham Palace shared its photo of the Queen. Kate then asked, so is there a suggestion, Richard, that they kind of did that to in some way usurp the Queen? Former Blue Peter presenter Richard defended the royal couple and responded, It sounds ridiculous to me but that is obviously the suggestion. I think when you live on the west coast over there, you're just the tiny bit not sure what time it is over here, referring to Harry and Meghan living in California. Is that what you think? Kate replied. Meanwhile, a friend of Princess Diana claimed, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may celebrate their Christmas virtually with the royal family. Stuart Pierce, Princess Diana's former vocal coach, claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are extremely extrovert people who would be more than happy to share their American Christmas with the royal family virtually. Meghan Markle enjoyed Sandringham Christmas back in 2017, when she became the first commoner ever to be invited to be part of the celebration whilst still only engaged to Prince Harry. Asked whether Meghan and Harry would phone the Queen on Christmas, Mr. Pierce told Royally Us, I would imagine because they are both Harry and Meghan are extremely extrovert people. They will be really interested in sharing their Christmas in Los Angeles and also being part of the Sandringham Christmas. He continued, I know that Meghan really enjoyed her time at Sandringham and, of course, she was very privileged because it was the first time that a fiancé of a member of the royal family was actually invited for Christmas. That was not something that is usually done right, so that's a huge leeway isn't it a huge access point for her match to draw Meghan in. And from all that I know even from the horse's mouth, I know that they're liked and loved and appreciated very fully. Meghan attended the Christmas service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in 2017 with the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Harry, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Prince Harry and Meghan chatted with the people who turned up for the day's service, including 70-year-old Judith Wallace who said Meghan had said a lot of things when chatting with her. Ms. Wallace said, she was very, very lovely. Fellow Royal Observer Tess Gilder said at the time, she was just so natural, so lovely. I think they just wished us a happy Christmas and were interested in whether we had been before. While guest editing the BBC's Today program, Prince Harry talked about Meghan's experience at Sandringham saying she really enjoyed it and the family really loved having her there. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly stayed at Anmer Hall, the Cambridge's Norfolk estate, for three days. Prince Harry said, there's always that family part of Christmas, but there's that work element as well. I think together we had an amazing time, staying with my brother and sister-in-law, running around with the kids and Christmas was fantastic. Around with